Hello, we're coming to you today from Saguaro National Park in Tucson, Arizona. Saguaro National Park was a must-see destination on our Southwest vacation. I've always wanted to see these giant cacti in person. The saguaro grows in just one part of the world, and that's in the Sonoran Desert of Arizona, northern Mexico, and a small part of California. The cacti are a symbol of the American West. However, it does not grow in Texas. You can see saguaro in the surrounding areas of Tucson. However, there is just something breathtaking about riding through the National Park and seeing so many of these majestic cacti together. We started our visit by stopping by the visitor center. We had the opportunity to talk with a volunteer that works at both the East and West Saguaro National Park. We learned so much about cacti, enjoyed incredible views, and had the opportunity to hike a few trails in the park. We hope you enjoy our visit as you come along with us through this jaw-dropping national park. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm one of the volunteers here at Saguaro National Park East. In fact, I'm one of the volunteers that works both at the Saguaro National Park East and West, and I love what I do. It's a great volunteer position. Thankful to be here. So, there's a big difference between our two parks. Both were named National Parks in 1994. However, this became a National Monument first back in 1933. Saguaro National Park East is the larger of the two parks. However, we have fewer saguaros here. Our saguaros tend to be larger, but on the, on the west side we have far greater number of saguaros. It's thick, it's a true cactus forest, which thankfully our, our saguaros are protected, and so uh, you know, give them a chance to grow and thrive and uh, for everybody to enjoy, because it is truly a national monument. It is an amazing, the sentinel of the desert. Um, one of the big differences is here, we have an elevation, if you look out to the, to the east here, our elevation goes up to 8,700 feet here, and on the west side it's 4,700 feet. So big difference in elevation. And that's one of the reasons why the saguaros grow so well out on the west side, because they, they start at about 2,000 elevation and grow up to about 4,000 feet, which is the elevation at Saguaro National Park West. Out here at 8,700, they're not gonna grow at that, in that elevation. So um, it's really an interesting, just if you look around here at our, at our Ocotillos here, at our brittle bush, um, we have barrel cactus around here. We have uh, pencil choya over here. It's amazing just what you see out here and the occasional rattlesnake. So watch out for those. Anyway, we're glad to be here. We're glad you're here. Thanks for coming from, from Virginia. Thank you so much. I've got one question. How old is this saguaro behind you? About? Well, it's over 100 years. Now this, this saguaro was actually transplanted here. Saguaro sprouted from a tiny black seed in 1916, was carefully transplanted here to mark the 50th anniversary of the National Park Service. In 2016, both the cactus and the service celebrated their centennial, 100 years. This the center is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Here we are outside of the Cactus Forest Drive. This is open from 7 a.m. to sunset. And this is the parking lot for the visitor center. Straight ahead is where you pay your fees to start the scenic drive. Life of a saguaro looks a little bit like a person with its arms and a tall frame, but its life is very different. Saguaros grow very slowly and they live to be very old, over 150, old, 150 years old. They are home to many animals just like big trees in a forest. Now this chart right here, if you look at it, kind of gives you the 
steps of how fast the saguaros do grow. At five years, it's just a little bitty thing, approximately 0.6 inches. 10 years is three inches. 15 years, eight inches. 25 years is up to three foot. 35 years, six foot has its first flowers. 60 to 75 years, it develops first arms. And then at 150 years, it's at full height. It's very interesting. Here you will see a demonstration of a saguaro and you will see inside where they have the ribs that helps it grow tall. What was really fascinating, one thing that we noticed when we got here to Tucson yesterday and we were driving and we were seeing the saguaros was we would see the holes in them. And what's so interesting here is they explain the woodpeckers actually make the holes in there and they call it a boot because of its shape and then after the woodpeckers move out other birds or other animals actually move into the saguaro so the saguaro cactus is actually home to quite a few animals so that's interesting here are the fees for the saguaro national park We just entered the loop road that takes you through Saguaro National Park East. It is a one-way road that lasts for eight miles. Just like Cindy said a few minutes ago, this is an eight mile drive. This kind of gives you a overlook of how the National Park is laid out. Nowhere else can so find a collection of native de desert plants be found as on this land. Homer Chance, University of Arizona president made that statement. The home of, of the saguaros the saguaro cactus forest around you owes its existence to the foresight of local residents. In the 1920s, grazing and development threatened the saguaro's future. Saguaro forests began to disappear as mature cactuses were chopped to make way for new roads. Livestock added to the damage as cattle trampled seedlings. Fearing the destruction of the southwest saguaro forest, Homer Chance, who was pictured to the left, led the effort that created Saguaro National Park protecting giant saguaros for generations to come. It's just absolutely gorgeous looking down through here.
Even the iconic saguaro needs help to thrive in our community. Young seedlings, which sprout during the summer rains, are fragile and need shelter from heavy rains, cold temperatures, and sunburn. They find it under the branches of nurse trees, like the mesquite off to the left of this sign. Nurse trees also add nutrients to the soil, and the cacti take advantage. As saguaro cacti grow bigger and stronger, their extensive and shallow root systems compete for water with these deeper rooted nurses, contributing to the nurse plant's demise. Right here you can see how this young cacti is sheltered by the nurse trees. This tree helps protect this cacti to grow and be tall and strong. Thanks for coming along with us on our visit to Saguaro National Park. Hoping you will have the opportunity to visit the park and see the beautiful saguaros in person. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you have not done so. God bless and happy travels.